Mastering Everyday English, Ordinal Numbers in Daily Life. Hello, English learners. Welcome back to our Mastering Everyday English series. Today, we're going to discuss a critical part of English numbers, known as ordinal numbers. They help us to rank and order things, making our daily communication easier and more precise. Stick around as we delve into the usage of ordinal numbers in our daily life, specifically focusing on the ordinal numbers from 1st to 10th. Before we go any further, let's do a quick recap. Ordinal numbers are numbers that indicate position or order in relation to others. First, second, third, and so on. So when you're lining up for a hot dog at a game or waiting in line at the bank, you're living the life of ordinal numbers. One of the most common uses of ordinal numbers in our daily life is in dates. For example, when you're planning a birthday party for the 5th of June, or scheduling a meeting for the 2nd of December, you're using ordinal numbers. Remember, in English, we always say dates with ordinal numbers. For example, June 5th, not June 5th. Imagine you're in an elevator in a multi-story building. The button panel is an array of ordinal numbers. Yes, you've got it right. We use ordinal numbers to denote the floors of a building. For instance, the ground floor is often referred to as the first floor, and the floor above it as the second floor, and so on. Are you celebrating your first anniversary or perhaps your friend's 10th birthday? Yes, those are ordinal numbers right there. We use them to denote the annual recurrence of events. So next time when you're celebrating any anniversaries or birthdays, remember, you are using ordinal numbers. Whether it's the Olympics or a local school race, ordinal numbers help us understand who crossed the line first, who came in second, and so on. They're a handy way to organize and understand the results of any competition. Ordinal numbers are truly a part of our everyday lives, helping us bring order to the world around us, be it in dates, building floors, anniversaries, or races. Remember, practice is the key to mastering ordinal numbers. Keep looking for them in your daily life, and soon enough, they'll become second nature to you. Thanks for joining us in this lesson, and we hope you found it helpful. We're excited to continue our journey of mastering English together. Until next time, keep practicing and stay curious. Happy learning!